Yes, so um, this is the deal, actually, you know, the covenant everyone preaches about. Paul was a man who died before he was dead. Paul died long before he was killed. Paul writes in Galatians 2 verse 20, I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, nevertheless, sorry, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I live by the faith of the Son of God. <laughs> When Jesus opened his mouth, he spoke about the Father. When he opened his mouth, he, he didn't ch chatter, chatter about the politics of the day, and, you know, what those guys are doing. Look at what they are doing with Jones, you know, and, yeah, and what's going to happen in the future. And, oh man, I tell you, the way the world is going with these Romans, I tell you, there is no good. He was dead to the world. Jesus was dead to this world. Dead. So, the way I understand it, in a very simple way, is you are either crucified to this world, face down, flat on it, flat on earth, on your stomach. I don't know if you've seen some of these um, Hollywood films, and you know, I watched one the other day with like priests spreading their arms and legs in the form of a cross, face down on the bare floor. Very symbolic, very symbolic. Nailed to this earth. Nailed to this earth. Nailed to power, nailed to influence, nailed to careers, nailed to money, nailed to some vision of some material future. Nailed flat on your face on the earth. Or you nail the cross of this earth onto your back. You carry it. You carry the burden of this earthly life on your back. Like your daddy showed you. You walk with him. Jesus says, whoever does not take up his cross, it's the same cross. And follow me. What does it mean? Oh, and unto the hill, and then you can put yours down, go back, you know, to life as normal, and do it. No, no, no. All the way. You know? He wasn't crucified alone for a reason. To show us who we are. Either that we're the one on the left with him, or we are the one on the right with him. None of those two on the cross with him were good guys. None of us are good guys we may only be the one who says oh really you are the one stay on the cross with him and with our last breath on the cross to also say father into your hands I commit my spirit while we are alive carrying that cross on our back that is when we die that was when Paul died when he took the cross of Calvary onto his back and died to this world because the minute you die to this world you are alive in Christ <laughs> that's what it means that's what it means you are born again are you a born again Christian yeah 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 how old are you 
Oh, I turn, you know, I turn 53 this year. Oh, really? When were you born again? 10 years ago. Then how come you're 53? How can you be 53 if you died 10 or 15 years ago? If you were reborn 15 years ago, your new age is 15 now. That is why the cross will be at the center for eternity, for that is who God is, ever giving, ever self-sacrificing. There's no magic, you know, that you will live for eternity. So you will only live eternally if you are dead in Him eternally. The minute you rise from the grave by your own power, you know, like, oh, I'm going to do this, you know, no, no, wait, wait, let me do it. Let's take control here, you know, let's take control of our lives and we do this and we organize that for the future and plan, 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 you know, like the guy in the Bible, the story that Jesus tells, you know, the guy plans, takes in his harvest, his, everything is full, you know, rich, and in the night he dies. <laughs> <laughs> the cross will be there eternally to remind us um, that is um, that is the the deal for eternity you know the minute we ignore the self-sacrificing nature of God and the minute we uh, start ignoring his nature and become selfish, that is when we start dying, when we will die. You know, it doesn't matter now in 10,000 years. Whoever turns his back on self-sacrifice, on giving his life completely over to our Father, uh, will die a sure death. Let me read you a text uh, to confirm that. You know, that confirms it in my mind for me. In Isaiah 65, I read from verse 17, the Eternal One is speaking, now look here, I am creating new heavens and a new earth. The weary and painful past will be as if it never happened. No one will talk or even think about it anymore. So take joy and celebrate with unending gladness on account of what I am creating. Look carefully. I am making this place I've chosen, this teaching of peace, a city of joy. I am making her citizens, my people, a people of gladness. This teaching of peace, my pride and joy, and her people will be a delight to me. Though you listen at every, corn, at every corner, you will never hear crying, never hear despair or grief. Never again will a person not live a full life, for the young will live to be a hundred, and any who die earlier will be considered cursed. I never understood that. And I love Isaiah. I love Isaiah. Because um, <clears throat> they will be considered accursed because uh, they did not give their lives to the Heavenly Father. They did not sacrifice themselves under the cross of giving, of self-sacrifice for the Creator. And that's why they will be doomed to die. For my people, it carries on, you know. People will confidently build houses and make them their homes. They will plant vineyards and enjoy their fruit for years to come. They won't worry that someone else will come along, drive them out and take it all away. For my people will live as long as these age-old trees. My chosen will use up and wear out whatever they make. 
It's how old God intends for us uh, to become. And these will be the blessed ones because they will remain in the character of the Christ who gave himself to the Father. <laughs> That's what it means to sing and praise God eternally, you know, his self sacrificing, giving nature. If you are not like that, uh, you have nothing in common with him. You know? Yeah, so I just wanted to put that down in writing as well, <laughs> as part of my melodies of praise. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live.